good morning children hope you all are in good health i think you all would have enjoyed your holidays now new academic year has started hope all are ready to learn new lesson first of all let me introduce myself i am mrs sudha i am going to take science for you today the lesson what i am going to teach you for today is measurement now what is the need for measurement yes it is very difficult to make correct judgment about an object without making actual measurement in order to make your judgment accurate the actual measurements are to be taken suppose if you want to purchase a cloth for making a shirt or to find out the temperature of a sick person accurate measurements are necessary measurements are used to measure length mass and time they are called fundamental measurements measurements are used to measure length mass and time which are called as fundamental measurement now what is called measurement the comparison of unknown quantities with some known quantities is known as measurement what is measurement children the comparison of unknown quantities with some known quantities is known as measurement for the sake of uniformity all physical quantities have standard unit the sa unit for length is meter the sa unit for mass is kilogram sa unit for time is second now what is the sa unit for length meter what is the sa unit for mass kilogram what is the sa unit for time second different places have created different standard units of measurements so for the sake of uniformity scientists all over the world have accepted a set of standard units of measurement this standard system of unit is known as international system of unit the international system of unit is otherwise called as si units there are seven base units in si system of measurement they are length mass time electric current temperature amount of substance and luminous intensity of light to measure length the si unit is meter denoted by the symbol m for mass si unit is kilogram the symbol is kg for time si unit is second the symbol is s for electric current si unit is ampere the symbol is capital a fifth one temperature si unit of temperature is kelvin denoted by k amount of substance si unit is mole that is m o l e the symbol is m o l last one is luminous intensity of light the si unit is candela the symbol is cd next we are going to learn about length what is called length the distance between one point and the other desired point is called length what is called length the distance between one point and the other desired point is called as length the tools used for measuring length is a meter scale and a measuring tape a meter scale is used to measure the length of the object measuring tape is used to measure the length of the distance see this since i don't have since i don't have meter scale i'm showing you the scale which you are using in our classroom to measure the length of a line for example um, to measure the length of draw a line measuring 5 cm for that we make use of this scale this is also to measure the length of a line next this is called as a measuring tape which is used by the tailors to take the measurement to stitch dress and another one is the measuring tape 
this is this tape is used by the carpenters to measure the uh, length of the object so these are all the measuring tools the standard unit of length is meter which can be represented by the letter m that is small letter m meter is the standard unit for measuring length in tailor shop we can see the meter rod a meter rod is divided into 100 equal parts each part is called as centimeter smaller measurements are measured in centimeter the scale which we are using in our classroom to draw line is 15 cm long in short centimeter is written as cm so 1 meter is equal to 100 cm very small length are measured in millimeters so 1 cm is equal to 10 mm now larger distances like distance between two cities are measured in kilometers in short kilometer is written as km 1 km is equal to 1000 m we measure length in centimeters meters or kilometers depending upon how large the length or the distance is now we are going to learn multiples and sub multiples of si unit what is called multiples multiples of standard unit are used to make large measurements multiples of standard unit are used to make large measurement for example let us convert 15 kilometers into meters already we know that 1 km is equal to 1000 m therefore 15 km is equal to 15 into 1000 m which is equal to 15000 m and other example convert 7 km into m so we have to write the formula 1 km is equal to 1000 m therefore 7 km is equal to 7 into 1000 m which is equal to 7000 m now what is sub multiples sub multiples of standard unit are used to make small measurements sub multiples of standard units are used to make small measurements for example let us convert 30000 meters into kilometers according to the formula 1 km is equal to 1000 m same way 1 m is equal to 1 bar 1000 km therefore 30000 m is equal to 30000 divided by 1000 cancel these three zeros we get 30 which is equal to 30 km and another ex another example is let it be 25000 m convert it into kilometers same way 1 km is equal to 1000 m 1 m is equal to 1 bar 1000 km therefore 25000 m is equal to 25000 divided by 1000 cancel this three zeros we get 25 therefore 25000 m is equal to 25 km now we will see how to measure the length of a pin using a scale for that we need scale and a pin now in scale we can find many readings the scale starting from 0 then 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm between 0 and 1 cm we can find small small division these are called as millimeters now now keep the head of the pin just above the scale so that the head of the pin should coincide with the zero reading of the scale same way the tip of the pin should coincide with the readings now here when we see Uh, starting from zero, the ending of the pin is coinciding with the two centimeter and one millimeter. So the measurement of a pin is the length of a pin is two centimeter and one millimeter. When we take the measurement, we should see that the small divisions also should 
take into consideration. Then only we will get the exact measurement of a pin. So the length of the pin is 2 cm and 1 mm. This is one activity. In this given activity, we can see the quantities using suitable measuring units and we have to express them with the multiples and submultiples. First one is what? The length of tip of the pencil. Now you see, this is a pencil. The tip is very small, isn't it? We have to use the scale for measuring the tip of the pencil. What is the measuring unit for length? Length, we are going to learn about length. So what is the measuring unit of length? The me SI unit of length is meter. Now what is the submultiples? Sub here we cannot measure in centimeter. This is a small length. So millimeter. Submultiple is millimeter. Second one is the length of a pen. So what is the SI unit of length? Meter. Now we can measure the length of the pen using a scale that we can measure it in centimeter. So submultiple is what? A centimeter. Next one, distance between two cities. For example, let us take from Kovei to Chennai. So what is the SI unit for distance? That is also meter. So can we measure the distance using meters? It will take long. So we have to measure the distance between two cities in kilometers. Next is mass of dry fruits. Dry fruits are called what? Dates, cashew nut, almond, etc. Then what is the measuring unit for mass? SI unit for mass is kilogram. So do we get this dry grapes in kilograms? No, we get only in small quantity. So that is milligram. Next one is mass of the ornament. What is the SI unit for mass? It is kilogram. For example, this ring. Do uh, we use only milligrams or grams to make a ring or a bangle or whatever it is. So the smaller unit is milligram. Now what is the time taken to finish 100 meter race? What is the SI unit for time? Second. So what is the uh, submultiples? We to travel from one to move from one place to another place we use minutes time taken to move from one end from initial point to final point we use minutes so the sub multiple is the minute this is all the about the this activity now the last question is the assignment what is the SI unit for length mass and time second definition define what is measurement and what is length? Third one, what is the full form of SI system? Fourth, you have to convert 12 kilometers into meters. Fifth one, convert 55,000 meters into kilometers. One activity you have to do, that is you have to find out the length of pencil box, pen, pencil, rubber, mobile. For this you have to use the scale and write the accurate measurement. Okay children, thank you very much. Have a nice day.